workout one. The first exercise for complex one will be the T-squat. The T-squat develops postural control needed to move effectively through the sagittal plane, allowing for ideal force production while moving up, down, forward, and backward. Begin with your feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed straight ahead, arms at the T position. Chest is up, midsection is tight, shoulders are back and down, chin lightly retracted. From this position, push your hips back and down. Lightly externally rotate the knees. Challenge yourself to get as low as you can without rounding your back. So keep your chest up. Continue to sink your hips down as far as you can until you hear my command and return to the starting position. Reset your feet after every repetition. We're doing five repetitions. And then moving on to the starfish. The starfish increases postural strength in all three planes of motion while developing your ability to isolate the hips from the torso. For the starfish, get in the push-up position with your hands and feet shoulder width apart. Rotate onto your left hand, fingers of your right hand point up at the ceiling. Chest is up, look up at the ceiling, keep your right hand up as long as you can while rotating your hips towards the ground. Then fall into a push-up position, do a push-up, and return to the starting position. Create long, straight lines. If you're not strong enough to do a full push-up, just do as much of a push-up as you can and increase your range of motion as you get stronger. We'll do five repetitions on each side. The third exercise is the jump slide. The jump slide develops ideal mechanics for lateral movement in the coronal plane and jumping in the sagittal plane. Get into an athletic stance with your feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed straight ahead, hips are back, chest is up, shoulders are back and down, chin lightly retracted, midsection tight. From this position, we're gonna jump into the air and immediately return to this position by aggressively driving our hips back. That protects our knees. We'll then move laterally, maintaining parallel feet. Jump again, and return to the starting position. That was one repetition, we're doing five. The first exercise is the T-squat. Get in position, feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed straight ahead, arms at the T, chest is up. Drive your hips back and down, chest up. Challenge yourself to get as low as you can. Keep your knees pointed out and back up. Reset your feet, hips back and down. Keep your chest up, shoulder blades squeeze together, get low and back up. Reset your feet, hips back. Chest up and back up. Two more repetitions. Chest up, hips back. Get low, keep your chest up. Keep your shoulder blades squeezed together, and back up. One last repetition, reset, hips back. Get low, chest up, and back up. Starfish, get in position, right hand up. Chest is up, keep your right hand up as long as you can. Rotate your hips towards the ground, push up. Rotate, chest up, and rotate. Breathe, try to relax, rotate. One more, rotate. Switch sides. Left hand up, and rotate. Rotate, keep your shoulders pulled away from your ears while doing the push-up, rotate. Two more reps, rotate. Rotate. On your feet, jump slide. 
Get into your athletic stance. Feet parallel, hips back. Jump, slide. 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 Jump, and break. Grab a sip of water. We're doing two more rounds. T-squat, get in position, chest up, hips back, get low, keep your chest up, challenge yourself to get low and back up, reset your feet, back down, back up, reset, hips back, keep your knees pointing out, and back up, reset your feet, Chest up, midsection tight, back down. Back up, reset, last rep. Hips back, chest up, shoulder blades squeeze together, get low, and back up. Starfish, left side down, right hand up. Look up at the ceiling, keep your right hand up, rotate. Rotate, breathe, try to relax, rotate. It's three, two more, rotate. One more, rotate. Switch sides. Left hand up and rotate. 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 Keep your shoulders pulled down into your body. Rotate. One more. Rotate. On your feet. Jump slide. Aggressive athletic stance. And jump. Slide. Jump. Slide, jump, 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 and slide. Grab a sip of water. Get in position for the T-squat. Feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed straight ahead. Arms at the T, chest is up. Hips go back, keep your chest up. Challenge yourself to go as low as you can. Try to keep your feet in place. Back up, reset your feet. Hips back, chest up. Shoulder blades squeeze together and back up. Reset, hips back and down. Get low. Back up, two more, reset, chest up, hips back, get low, and back up, and back, and back up, starfish, right side up, rotate, rotate, Rotate. Two more. Rotate. And rotate. Switch sides. Left hand up. Chest up and rotate. Long straight lines. Chest up, rotate. 
Rotate. Rotate. Last one. Rotate. On your feet. Jump slide. Athletic stance. Hips back. Jump. Slide. Jump. Slide. Jump. Slide. Jump. Slide. Jump. Slide. Jump. Slide. Jump, slide, jump, slide, jump, slide, jump, slide, break. The first exercise of complex two is the open rotating split squat. The open rotating split squat operates in the transverse and sagittal plane, teaching you how to control rotation and maintain orientation during dynamic movement. Get in the bottom of a lunge with your left leg forward. Torso is upright, midsection is rock hard. Chest is up, shoulders are back and down. Chin is slightly retracted. Lift your back knee up off the ground about an inch. We're gonna jump into the air, rotate to the right, and land with our right leg forward. We'll then reverse the motion and land again with our left leg forward. You wanna keep your back knee pointing straight down at the ground and not out. Chest stays up. We're doing five repetitions. Then we're moving on to the tripod scissor kick. The tripod scissor kick increases postural strength by challenging your ability to resist rotation. Get in a pillar position on your forearms with your feet wider than shoulder width apart. For this exercise, the wider your legs are apart, the harder the exercise will be. So if you need to make it easier, bring your legs together a bit. You can also make it easier by going to your hands. On your forearms, legs wide, chin retracted, midsection tight. Without moving your hips at all, pick up your left leg, close your legs, and then bring them apart together. That's one repetition. We're doing five on each side. Keep your legs internally rotated and not rotated out. The third exercise is the speed skater. The speed skater develops lateral jumping ability in the coronal plane. Begin with your feet together, toes pointed straight ahead. Take a step back with your back leg, stepping behind and across your left leg. Bend your left knee, chest is up, Left arm is back and up, right arm is up in front of yourself. You're gonna jump to the right, land on your right leg and change positions. And then return to the starting position for one repetition. We're doing five. Let's get started with the open rotating split squat. Left leg forward, torso's upright, midsection is tight. Pick your back knee up off the ground and jump. Jump, 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 and jump. One more, jump, keep your chest up, tripod scissor kicks, legs wide, chin retracted, left leg up. Close and open. Get it wide. Close and open. Close, open. Close, open. Close and open. Switch legs. Get your legs nice and wide. Right leg up. Close, open. Close, open. Close, open. 
close and open, close and open. On your feet, speed skaters. Right leg back, left arm back, right arm up, chest up, jump to the right. And the left, right and left, right and left, right and left. One more, right and left. Short break, we got two more rounds. Left leg forward, chest up, midsection tight, shoulders back and down. Jump right, jump left. Right and left. Right, left. Right and left. Right and left. Tripod scissor kicks. Forearms or hands, legs wide, chin retracted, left leg up, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, and switch legs. Right leg up, close, open, close, open, close, Go wide, close, open, close, and open. Speed skaters, right leg back, left arm back, chest is up, cover some ground, jump, 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 jump. Jump, and jump, break. Open rotating split squats. Get in position, left leg forward, chest up, midsection rock hard. Jump, 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 jump left, right, and left, right, left, right, and left. Tripod scissor kicks on your forearms or hands, legs as wide as you can get them. Chin retracted, left leg up, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, and switch. Go wide, right leg up, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, Open, close, and open. Speed skaters. Right leg back. Left arm back, right hand up, chest is up. Cover ground. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, jump, and jump. That's it for complex two. The first exercise of complex three is the low lunge with internal external rotation of the back knee.
low lunge with internal-external rotation of the back knee. Lengthens and balances the musculature controlling rotation of the thighs, improving your ability to maintain a feet forward orientation. Get in the bottom of a lunge with your left leg forward. Arms are at the T position, chest is up, shoulders are back and down, chin is slightly retracted. Pick your back knee up off the ground about an inch and without changing the elevation of your body, externally rotate your knee as far as you can and then internally rotate it as far as you can. That's one repetition. We're doing five on each leg. The second exercise is the skydiver with arms at T. The skydiver with arms at T strengthens your ability to properly extend throughout your spine and retract your shoulder blades. Lie down on your stomach, legs wide, arms at the T, thumbs up, legs up. Get your thumbs as high as you can get them, retract your chin, squeeze your shoulder blades together and pull your shoulder blades down into your body using the muscles of your back, your lats. Your upper traps should be relaxed. We're gonna hold this position for 20 seconds and then for another 40 seconds, scissor kick, alternating crossing our ankles. The third exercise is the body rock. The body rock increases your ability to resist downward and frontal force acting against you in the sagittal plane. Get in the pillar position on your forearms with your feet shoulder width apart. Elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. Your shoulders are actively pulled into your body using your lats. Chin is retracted. Rock forward as far as you can and rock backwards as far as you can without picking up your hips. We're rocking back and forth for one minute. Let's get started. Low lunge, arms at T, left leg forward. Trailing knee is about an inch off the ground. Rotate out, rotate in. Out and in, rotate out, rotate in. Rotate out, rotate in, rotate out, and switch legs. Arms at T, rotate out, rotate in, rotate out, rotate in, out and in, rotate out and rotate in. One more, out and in, skydivers. Legs wide, arms at T. Chin retracted, arms and legs up. Big in. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep your shoulders pulled down into your body. Chin retracted. Belly button sucked in towards your spine. Scissor kicks. Alternate crossing your ankles. Get your legs as wide as you can. Keep your chin retracted. Keep your hands as high as you can keep them. Shoulders pull down into your body. Keep working. Hands up. Belly button sucked in towards your spine. Keep working. 10 seconds. Keep working. Hands up. And break. Body rocks. On your forearms, feet shoulder width apart. Big in. Rock back and forth. Chin is retracted. Shoulders are pulled down into your body. Midsection is tight and strong. You should be straight from your head all the way down to your ankles. Keep 
keep working. Halfway. Midsection tight, chin retracted, rock back as far as you can, and then forward as far as you can. Ten seconds. Hang in there. And break. Two more rounds. Low lunge, arms at T, chest up, shoulders back and down. Trailing knee is about an inch off the ground. Rotate out, rotate in. Out and in, rotate out, rotate in. Rotate out, rotate in, rotate out, and switch legs. Arms at T, rotate out, rotate in, rotate out, rotate in, out, and in, rotate out, and rotate in. One more, out, and in. Skydivers, arms at T. Legs wide. Limbs up, big in. Get your chest off the ground. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep your shoulders pulled down into your body. Chin is retracted. Suck your belly button in towards your spine. Twenty seconds. Scissor kicks. Keep your chin retracted. Chest off the ground, thumbs as high as you can get them. Shoulders are pulled down into your body. Keep your upper traps relaxed. Keep working. 10 seconds. And break. Whew. Body rocks on your forearms. Feet shoulder width apart. Big in. Chin is retracted. Shoulders are pulled back into your body using the muscles of your back. Back as far as you can, forward as far as you can. It should be a straight line from your head all the way to your ankles. Halfway. 30 seconds remaining. Midsection should be tight and thin. Protect your back. Keep working. Shoulders pulled back into your body. Keep the muscles of your back engaged. 10 seconds. Keep working. Stay with me. And break. One more round. Arms at T. Back knee up, stay close to the ground, rotate out, and all the way in. Out, all the way in. Open, close. Open, close, open, and close. Switch legs. Stay low to the ground on this exercise. Chest up, arms at T. Open, close, open, and close, open, close. 
open, close, open, and close. Skydivers. We're almost there. Stay in the fight. Legs wide, arms at the T, limbs up. Shoulder blades squeeze together, thumbs are up, shoulders pull down into your body. Chin is retracted, stomach sucked in towards your spine. Legs are up off the ground, get your hands as high as you can, shoulders pull down into your body. Scissor kicks. Legs wide, alternate crossing your ankles. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, keep your upper traps relaxed. Chin is retracted, thumbs are up. Hang in there, 10 seconds. Work. Break. Whew. Body rocks on your forearms, feet, shoulder width apart. Big in. Rock forward and back. Shoulders are pulled into your body using the muscles of your back. You can develop your back muscles simply by pulling your shoulders down into your body. Scapular depression. Section tight, hang in there. Halfway. Come on. Suck it up. Stay in the fight. We're almost there. Last exercise. Keep your chin retracted. Go back and forth. Go back as far as you can without picking up your hips. 10 seconds. Come on. Be an athlete. Work, and whew. we're done with workout one. I'll see you guys in the cool down. Stay in the fight. <laughs>